what's going on everybody it is thursday and as you can see going across the screen i've started back into building a psa set which i'm going to get into but i've had internet issues since sunday when i went live for that random for the giveaway and i've had text out here all kind of stuff replaced modems all this and nobody could figure it out so they came out today and how they had escalated and all this stuff. I, I have no idea. I'm not that smart. All I know is my download speed is really good. And my upload speed is barely hitting like one. Yes, the number one. No joke. Supposed to be getting 10 to 12, which is normally what I stream with. Never have issues. So um, until they fix that, I cannot go live because we're going to be skipping frames. So what that means is that if they do not fix this tomorrow... I'm not going to be able to do a giveaway this weekend because I like to be live when I run the random uh, for the giveaway. So I do apologize. They're supposed to be out of between three and five. Um, if they get this fixed to where it's good to go, then I'll post a video for the giveaway. It might be later that evening. So just keep an eye out for that. Um, I'll try. If they do, do fix it, I'll also go live later on that night just to make sure everybody's tracking. But. It's just been really weird because my upload speeds from like 2 a.m. to about 8 a.m. are where they need to be at. Then they just start gradually decreasing till about 11 a.m. and then it's done. So I'd rather have a good stream before I try to go live and have all the hiccups like last week. So I just want to give everybody a heads up. I do apologize. It's, it's out of my hand. I tried to use other internet providers calling around and, well... The weird part is one doesn't service my area. The other one wanted some crazy amount of money, and I was like, no. And the other one, well, they haven't even laid fiber optic this way, and this is no joke. Their maximum download is 30. 30. Yes, you heard it here first. 30. Their upload max, one. I'm already getting that. So, um, yeah, I do apologize. I just can't really do much until then because I can't even, up, uh, even put stuff on the website because they have to upload the pictures to it. And it just keeps spinning, spinning, spinning. So I'll see what I can do. Worst case scenario is that I'll just wait till like Saturday morning early at like 4 a.m. If I have to post stuff to the store to get new stuff on there. But we'll see about it. But I just wanted to give more of like a, I guess they call it a public service announcement. PSA, what do you know? Uh, on to it, just so everybody's tracking. I'm not like ghosting or anything like that. I do have a giveaway for this weekend. It's a pretty cool giveaway too. It's a card that comes one in every 2,138 packs. Imagine that. But other than that, I did start going back. I used to have back in, oh gosh, I want to see, let me think, when did I redeploy from Iraq? So, oh, six. So, 2005, I started with uh, building PSA sets, and I liked it. It's cool because you can get in the registry. I was ranked number one for my set. I was the only person who had the set. Went through a divorce, had to sell the set. Luckily, the guy lived, you know, about an hour and a half from me, drove down, picked it up. And I'm, you know, from the time you grade cards and everything, I made a good chunk out of it. Because back then, it was like $5 bulk submission per card. So, you really made out on to, unlike now. But I went back and I started making my 86 Tops Traded Baseball set again. And I'm looking to do PSA 10s only. Now, there are some cards that are, you know, no, that have no Pop 10s at all. So, I had to get a Pop 9 on to it. Until I start buying 86 Tops Traded sets again or figure out where I put these other four sets at. I have no idea. But I need to look at those and try to figure it out. So I figured I'd show you. First, I got this box here. It's on eBay. They hold your sets into it really nice. I think it was like 40 or 50 bucks then shipping. So I'm back into it. I even have a, well, hopefully it comes in this week. I got another PSA 10 coming in. So these are in order. Number 11 is the card number. PSA 10, the hard one, the bonds, the big one of the set. Pretty cool and everything like that. I had a couple of these, but I got rid of them. Bolly Bonilla, PSA 10. Then you got Candiotti, Canseco, PSA 10. That's a good one there to have. Will Clark. I have most of the expensive ones already. Darnell Cole. So if you have a PSA 10 hiding somewhere and I don't have it yet, hit me up. I'll buy it if you want to sell it. Rob Deere, PSA 10. I got the Griffey inbound right now. It's been shipped. I'm just probably waiting forever for it from California. Francona, another 10. Galarraga, 10. Oh, I didn't even realize that I'm like, I should probably be doing more this way. Hold on here. 
We'll just take them and put them off to the side here. There's the Bonilla. I didn't realize it. I wasn't going to look at my screen. But these are all 10s right here. And they're all in order. I have my own spreadsheet. I'm trying to get the highest PSA set. We'll see if it works again. I was the highest and sold it. But there was a lot of like lower end ones in there just so I can complete the set. And there's the bow. Bow nose. So all 10s there. And you know, if you're looking for something that you know you want to do, it's going to be worth money down the road. A PSA set is phenomenal to have. Especially if you get one, it's ranked. And then all of a sudden you need to sell it. You're going to get a lot of money for it. Because people know the efforts it takes to build these sets I don't even know how to say it. It's in Cal, in Cal, whatever that guy there, it won't come out right. Correct. You can tell this is an older one here from the label. Jim Leland, PSA 10. Kevin Mitchell. Now Otis Nixon is a nine. It's hard to find a ten on my. I don't. I can't remember if there's only very few of them or there's none out there. One of the two. Lou Pinella, ten. Classic, ten. A lot of these, you know, are pops anywhere up to like 20. Some are very skimmed. I mean, Vaughn's and stuff like that, of course, are your big ones on to it. Tom Seaver's a 10. Stillwell's a 9. I believe this is the one where you, there is no pop 10 on it yet. Stubbs. And to be honest, this is probably something I'd resubmit, even though it's a little bit off left to right. Sometimes you can uh, get something good on. 10 on Stubbs. 10 on Tartable. There's a name you haven't seen in a while. Robbie Thompson's a 10. Wegman's a 10. Dick Williams, 10. Witt, 10. World, 10. I even got the checklist down to a 10. This was one of the harder ones to find. And if you look at center and left and right, it's pretty off. But I'm thinking if I mail that 1-9, it might come back at 10. So that's the start of my set. I still got like a hundred cards or so to get into it, but I figured I'd share something different with everybody. And like I said, with PSA, you never could go wrong with it, especially if you're taking time to build the sets. I mean, it's going to be hard to make a whole PSA 10 set out of this. And if it does, it'll sell very, very well one day, but it's something you keep for your collection. You know, how many people can sit there and say, I have an 86 tops traded PSA 10 set or just rank number one, because you have only the old couple nines that are out there. But, yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, once I do this set, I'll probably start looking at another one to do down the road or something. Might do the Tiffany of it. Tiffany would be very, very expensive, as you all know. But i just been thinking about start building some sets up again and putting them back in the old storage. And these cases are great to have them in. As you can see, you can flick it on down, close it, and a lock on. It's pretty dusty on top, so if you look at my camera... Now you can't see it. <laughs> that looks cleaner. But, I mean, it's really nice. I like him. I mean, the guy that makes him is pretty good at what he does. Cool to have him. So, they're on eBay. If anybody needs a link to it, just hit me up in the chat onto this video. And I will post it down in there. Because I think I still have him saved on my eBay. Now, I know he had different sizes, two of them. Uh, I think the next one, once I get this complete where it's only going to be like I might need some 10s and I have the 9s already of them, I think I'm going to move forward and start looking at a basketball one to do. And, boy, I just imagine what the Jordans are going to cost me into it. I think I just shed a tear on it. But, right, that, hopefully everybody's had a good week. Um, I'll have a video tomorrow regardless. Hopefully it's a giveaway and I get to come live, and then I can just save a video for later. If not... Uh, means that my internet still, they can't figure anything out. And the second level tech has struck out. And now we're hoping the supervisor can figure it out. Honestly, I think it's the panel box out there. It's small. And then somebody has like Dish Network and probably somebody has somebody else out there. And they're just jumbling all these lines up in there. And I think that it's done out there. And it just needs to be replaced completely. But I'll finally figure it out. Hopefully. Hopefully. All right, that's it for me. We're about hitting a 10-minute mark, and it takes forever to upload this. As you guys can see, it's 5.11 right now. I bet you it'll be about 7.30 by the time it uploads. All right, you all have a good week. If I don't get to come back and see you all live, hopefully everybody's staying safe and healthy out there. Again, thank you all for the support on the channel and the website. I, if Worst case scenario, I do have new cards for the website. If I have to get up early Saturday morning and get the pictures posted while I have good internet, I will. 
and I'll get those out there for you guys. And I'll even do a small video. It'll be a quick one of what goes on there. All right. Have a good one, everybody. Take care.